It's Mark Lehman on Facebook more specifically. How constructive can you be about a company that has been warning about ad growth sales slowing and they've now warning about engagement as well? Uh, listen, Mark Zuckerberg did a great job, I think, explaining to the street what uh, they're doing with the feeds. I think you saw record EBITDA margins approaching 70% engagement, like you said, was tempered a little bit by what they're doing with the ads. But I think they are clearly going to have a better monetization. It's just a better engagement for people. And Mark Zuckerberg, over time, has been tempering higher earnings with, with talks about expense growth, et cetera. But he's always outperformed. And my money is still on the fact that they can raise engagement, the quality of engagement, raise those EBITDA margins, and I still think our $235 target that Ron Josie has as our company is the right number for Facebook. Mark, you're still bullish, but Brian, you sound very constructive about the numbers, but you still have a sell on this stock, Brian. Why? It's simple math. I mean, when I plug in numbers uh, on the revenue growth, which I think can keep growing reasonably well, not far from consensus for this year, um, maybe a little below next, and I think I start to fall off a lot uh, from where most uh, expectations would be in years beyond. But I think that the margins start to um, erode, and uh, I, I think that they're going to continue to invest in content, that they're going to continue to invest in data centers, they're going to continue to have to invest in more humans because they don't know their customers. Um, I think there's no way they can continue doing what they're doing there's always going to be ways to game the platform and do illegal things unless they have more humans, which is just going to add more cost. Brian, Gina? this is Gina Martin-Adams, uh, equity strategist at Bloomberg Intelligence. My question is on that investment precisely because Facebook is such a large company and driver of spending on other tech. Can you give us a little visibility into their plans for investment into the year ahead and, and the, the years to come? Yeah, well, that's a great point. I mean, I, and I think investors tend to look past that. Um, you know, they've already said they're going to spend $14 billion uh, this year, and maybe they come in a little under that. But I think the basic uh, um, <laughs> premise that they'll spend double-digit billions of dollars is not going to change anytime soon. I don't think these numbers come down by much uh, going forward. If anything, they go up. And, um, uh, yeah, so I think that you end up with spending on uh, certainly servers, on um, land, uh, on buildings, uh, construction activity, um, you know, so there's a lot of uh, places they'll be spending that money.